welcome to a brand new video for Studio One. Um, today I'm going to make this video um, after a question that has been uh, raised in, on Facebook on the SDL users group. Um, so that that uh, question was about why the SDL Tone Hub doesn't have um, a MIDI capability. So um, I said that you know. This is not an option in STL Tone Hub, but if you're using um, a Studio One Version 5 or Version 4, uh, there is a, an option that you can um, assign some macros and you can, if you have a MIDI controller, you can, um, uh, using these macros, you can control your um, VST using any VST actually using macros. So, this is my video um, response to that question. So how you can do that is um, having STL Tone Hub here. This is the latest version of STL Tone Hub loaded to the latest version of Studio One 5.2. Um, so I have here my mixer, the STL Tone Hub loaded. Um, and by going to that icon over here it says macro controls you click on that and you have the um this uh, window coming up so we have tons of options here um as you see here by clicking the tool icon i'm going back and forth so we have the knobs and we have the buttons and we have the y and x axis so depending on what uh, MIDI controller you're using, you can assign commands to all of these buttons. So going to the mapping option here, uh, we have the knob option, the buttons and the XY uh, pads over here. And on the right hand side, we have the tone hub SDL parameters that we can assign to these knobs on the left hand side. So this is the tricky part. S um, Studio One let us know which commands we can assign to which controls. So if I click the button, I only have the bypass and the activate commands. If I go to the knobs, I have all of these options, which is actually the V, the VST itself. Um, so assuming that I have knob one over here and I want to assign a few options. Um, so I want to, I have the rhythm part and I want suddenly to turn on the effects. So coming into the lead part that I need my um, delay and reverbs enabled. So how can I do that using um, using the MIDI, the macros, uh, considering that the SDL is not MIDI native. Um, so I want to enable the effects, the delay and the reverb under knob one. So that's the easy thing. So I search for the effect status. I'm dragging into that. Then I want the delay. So I'm searching for delay. Drag that. And then I want the reverb. So search for the reverb. Okay. So you see my knob here is still disabled. So I have set already here my delay and my reverb parameters. So my mix is on 20%, uh, 340 milliseconds. Uh, my uh, reverb is on 20%. Um, length, let's put it in 40. Just some random settings just for um, display purposes right now. So I'm gonna go to the effect status and I'm, put, I'm gonna push it back to the extremes I'm going to copy that and I'm going to the delay status. I'm going to paste and reverb, oops, paste. And we have effects, reverb, and delay. So you're going to see now it's everything is disabled. So once I'm going to push that up, you can see the delay, the reverb, and the effects turn on. You see that? Boop, pop. You see that? I hope you see that. So turn the knob on, turn the knob off. 
turn them upon, turn them above. So, considering that you have, actually, I don't have any MIDI controller, but considering that I do have a MIDI controller over here, which obviously, if you go to Studio One um, options and you go to your external devices, you should have a MIDI controller over here, okay? Um, which I don't have at the moment uh, on my setup. Um, but if you have, you should have that device over here. Um, so if you turn the knob on or off, we have three, or we can have even more. We have, at that stage, we have three um, steps at once happening once we switch on this knob, which I think is quite amazing. So this is a um, nice trick that you can do inside Studio One with a non-supportive MIDI plugin. Um, I hope you guys find this um, helpful. So hit me up if you need any more help with um, additional videos, uh, more videos coming up soon. Um, thanks for watching, cheers.